In today's chapter, we will talk about the COVID-19. Does the pandemic obey a quantum pattern of propagation? Let's enjoy it! The COVID-19 has affected the whole world. In agreement with the information of Worldometer, near 4 million people have died due to the COVID-19. More than 183 million of persons have been infected so far. The COVID-19 has a quantum propagation pattern. Thanks, Amy. Indeed, the COVID-19 obeys a quantum pattern of propagation. More specifically, it follows some rules of quantum field theory. Let's take a look. Healthy, healthy. In a healthy society, everyone is busy, sometimes happy or sometimes stressed. In any case, nobody is worried about the existence of a disease. A system like this has a single equilibrium condition. A healthy society can be represented with a single unstable ground state. The red ball's horizontal location represents the disease value on the society. Going to the right or the left for the ball would mean disease propagation. However, since the vacuum is stable at the center, the disease value remains zero inside the healthy society. If the pandemic comes, the society might collapse if we don't take the appropriate measures. Then understanding the patterns of propagation becomes extremely important. Equally important are the coordination and measures taken for stopping the propagation of the disease. When the pandemic disease enters inside one individual of the society, it breaks the symmetry of the system spontaneously if no controls are taken on time. Then we can say that the pandemic condition can be represented by the potential on the right hand side of the figure. The new stable ground state in such a case is a state where we have disease propagation. But wait a minute, does these statements really match with the data? Let's take a look at the data behavior worldwide. The plots which we are going to show correspond to the data taken from Worldometer. This one is the United Kingdom's plot. We can see an initial exponential explosion of cases with a subsequent period of flatness. The period of flatness occurs when one particular infection wave finishes. The plot of cases belonging to Hong Kong shows different periods of flatness. There are some periods of flatness with a subsequent new wave in this figure. On the other hand, the plot belonging to Japan also shows some periods of flatness and periods of straight lines. The straight lines occur when the exponential explosion tends to become flat due to the social distance measures. Each one of the previous plots shows a universal pattern. They behave as a logistic function with two free parameters for each wave of pandemic propagation. Universal behavior is typical in phase transitions. Then we can conclude that a pandemic is a phase transition of the system integrated by the society. The phase transition experienced by the society can be observed in figures. The left figure is just the harmonic oscillator potential, which represents a healthy society. The virus, represented by the quantum field, will not propagate in such a case. The right-hand side figure, on the other hand, represents an unhealthy society, where the pandemic has propagated, bringing then the system toward a new equilibrium condition. The expectation value of the quantum field represents the number of cases perceived during a pandemic wave. Capital A represents the total number of cases after one pandemic wave has finished. If a new wave comes, the process is just repeated, taking into account that the capital A letter just counts the number of positive COVID-19 cases without considering the cases from the previous waves. This is like setting our clocks and counting to zero again for each wave. 
the qubit and quartic terms in the potential expansion represent interactions between individuals in the society. The quadratic term is a non-interaction term, unable to propagate the pandemic by itself. In summary, the COVID-19 pandemic corresponds to a phase transition in the society from the perspective of physics. This phase transition brings the system from a trivial, stable vacuum state toward a new vacuum state where the most stable condition is the one with several COVID-19 cases. Since the pandemic is a phase transition, then there is a universal behavior in the propagation of the disease worldwide. The virus can be modeled as a quantum field, obeying the dynamic of a Lagrangian with a potential term containing quadratic, cubic, and quartic order terms. The cubic and quartic order terms represent interactions among individuals. Finally, the pandemic has two free parameters which change from country to country. Depending on the social distance measures and other local characteristics, as well as other measures taken by the society. Please take care during this terrible pandemic. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.